Well, all right, we are live and going. Welcome to the Wiglap Big Idea Show. This month's headline pricing with me, your host, Tim J. Smith, PhD. What are we going to talk about today? Well, let's get started by looking at the big oil squeeze. Then, who is government protecting now? Portlandia out. And on that note, I got a great idea. Let's have people make Coca-Cola at home. Yeah! Zoo Lily ain't cool, Lily. Coochie, coochie, Gucci. Hey, hey, don't want to play, play. Otis B with Otis B. And Hertz makes hay. So let's see what's going on. Starting out with the headline of the Big Idea Show. The big squeeze of oil. Whatever happened to a $100 barrel oil? Fast. Question mark, rock man. I mean, right now it's coming at $40 a barrel. How did it go from 110 all the way down to $40 in just a few months? Well, war. What is it good for? Absolutely. Well, anyway, thank you, Edwin Starr. You can click on that later on and watch this beautiful little video. We got a price war going on. Basically, you can break it down to being between Aramco and Texas. Saudi Arabia versus Texas. Now, Saudi Arabia makes oil at $7 a barrel. That's the variable cost to pull that oil out of the ground in Saudi Arabia. And Aramco is the Saudi Arabian oil company there. Down in Texas, when we're doing the shale gas and the shale oil, we're looking at $40 to $60 a barrel to pull that oil out. That's much, much more expensive than out there over there in Saudi Arabia. Pull that on over into the concept of the, com the competitive price reaction matrix. And you ask yourself about pricing power of Texas versus the Ramco. And you say, well, do you really care which oil you get your oil from? Do you care if it's from a Ramco or do you care if it's from Texas? And the truth is, we don't care. No one has pricing power. All of the pricing power is equal or lower. There's no pricing power for a supplier in this game. Then you look at competitive advantage. Competitive advantage says I can raise benefits without raising costs as much. I can lower costs without lowering my benefits as much. Or I can do both at the same time. Put this in the context of oil. Neither one of them can raise their benefits that much. What we're looking at is really just lowering the cost. And who has the competitive advantage in the cost area? A Ramco. So here's a Ramco, and here is Texas. And you look at this, and you say, well, what is going on? Well, a Ramco is defending market share by lowering price, and Texas just has to accommodate. That's exactly what we said in our competitive price reaction matrix. We're seeing Texas out there defend accommodating price losses by allowing some share losses and trying to find, well, you can't improve the value proposition for tomorrow. So it's stuck allowing for share losses and price de decreases. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia is defending its market share, managing some price reductions and margin erosions. Will it be willing to end this price war? Absolutely, when Texas is gone out of the picture. Will that happen soon? I don't think so. So we're looking at low-priced oil for a little bit longer. Longer, at least just a little bit longer on the foreseeable immediate future. It's going to be in the $40 to $60 range, and it will stay there. That's the nature of a price war, especially when neither competitor has any form of pricing power. Can they end it? Sure. But then Texas would have to accept a smaller market share. Will Wall Street let Texas accept the small market share? Don't think so. They figure they got money, they'll pump at it. As long as there's a positive return on investment, they go for it. So for a while, we're not seeing much of a change in the price of oil. When will it hit the gas pumps? Yeah, that's a different story. So here's the point of the very first story here. Know thyself. When Texas started pumping in all that shale oil and say, look, we got some great oil pump, pumping it out of the ground, ground, ground for $60 a barrel and selling it for $110 a barrel, how can you not pour money into this Wall Street? 
Wall Street poured money into that. And what happened? Of course, eventually you start to well, the bubble bursts. You you run out of you run out of uh, comp competitive reasons to keep doing it. The price just decreased as the supply increased. And what did the competitors do? They lowered the price to defend their market share because that made sense for Saudi Arabia. A little bit slower, might have been able to avoid it, but it didn't make sense. They went after it, now it's down. That's the way it is. So go back to the premise, focus on serving your customers profitably, and you'll be able to move forward when you're facing a similar situation.